right, so today's video is on gabion fences. We're going to cover the different types of gabion fences as well as the types of gabion mesh used to uh, build the fences. Uh, we'll go over kind of the standard basket sizing and different options we have available, as well as uh, different construction methods with the post. Um, even though we don't sell the post ourselves, uh, we do you know, ha have several different types that we've worked with in the past, so we can offer uh, information on that. And then we will go over uh, the installation process, uh, especially of our internally supported uh, Gabion basket fences. All right, so uh, to get started on the types of Gabion fences, um, you, you can have a freestanding Gabion fence, and uh, basically what that means is there's no internal support, so uh, to have stability for that uh, to work, the base of the fence needs to be at least half as wide as it is tall. Uh, if you get outside of that, then you're going to need an internally supported uh, Gabion fence, and that's generally with having uh, some type of support post within the basket itself. And then the, another option is having in post, and uh, we'll go over the different types of those in a little bit, but. Um, yeah, it's basically having the support where the two baskets join together. Uh, as far as some of the aesthetic differences, um, you know, you can mix and match wood paneling with uh, gabion panels. You can also have a gabion post uh, with wood fencing in between the post. And then you can also add accents, whether it's our glass rock or uh, garden wall panels. Uh, to kind of break up the look of the stone. So our standard stock mesh uh, is just called our Jira Weld standard and the most common size wire uh, for that is going to be our nine gauge wire and that's available both galvanized as well as raw steel and those mesh panels have a three inch by three inch square mesh opening. So that means the stone fill for that needs to be in the four inch to six inch range. And they come partially assembled with spirals. And uh, the sizing increments just need to be uh, in increments of three inches to keep that even mesh spacing. For custom mesh, we can go from one inch up to six inch uh, in spacing and we can do both square and rectangular patterns. Uh, as far as the diameter of the wire, we can go as thick as four gauge um, and then to our standard nine gauge. Um, that's, you could go, we do have the option of going thinner than that, but generally uh, with fences, you want to minimize bowing. So nine gauge is generally as thin as we recommend on fence applications. Uh, different material options we have on our custom in addition to the raw steel and the galvanized steel. Uh, we also offer a 304 stainless steel, a 316L stainless steel, as well as Galfan. The standard mesh um, baskets are going to um, you know, come in increments of three inches, so we do have a little bit of flexibility on the sizing. But as far as what's the most common, um, the most common length of the basket is going to be six feet, and then the width is going to be one foot to one and a half foot, and then the height would be anywhere from two feet to three feet, and then um, you can stack baskets on top of each other to reach your desired height. Uh, we don't recommend going over eight feet on a gabion fence. Uh, that's, it probably is possible to go above that, uh, but a structural engineer would need to get involved as far as, you know, making sure that it's supported. Uh, with our custom sizes, our custom mesh sizes, um, 
the most common length is still six feet, but uh, we can go a lot thinner with the custom mesh if you're utilizing a smaller mesh spacing. Uh, basically, that allows you to use a smaller fill material and which can give you that um, you know, full internal fill look that you're going for. Um, if you tried going with a six inch thick basket with our standard mesh, uh, that really wouldn't leave much room uh, to get the stone fill in there uh, with the stone needing to be larger than that three inch opening. Another option we have with our custom mesh is we can do up to six feet. Um, the issue with having a basket that's taller than three feet comes in with when you're adding the fill material uh, because you do need to adjust the fill material by hand to make sure there aren't any open voids, uh, make sure you have you know, good solid fill so that it's not settling later. Uh, but especially if you're using a smaller mesh and a smaller fill, it's a lot easier to fill all of those voids. Uh, so you know, we do have the option of doing taller panels for that. Uh, with the custom mesh, um, the dimensions of the basket just need to be even dimensions of that mesh size. So if you have a two inch by four inch rectangular mesh, then you know, just have the dimensions be the equivalent lengthwise of a two inch increment and height wise would need to be a four inch increment sizing. On the post options. So uh, the most common post uh, would be our internally supported baskets. Uh, that's where the baskets just uh, slide on top of a concrete post that's been planted in concrete. Uh, that's you don't see the post, the stone is allowed to interlock around the post and that is what gives you that support uh, of the basket itself. Uh, you also have the option of doing wooden end post. Uh, you can see the picture there just where it's a thick timber uh, and the gabion mesh is attached uh, to that timber. There are a couple different ways you can do it but um, Basically, instead of having an internal support post a six foot on center, uh, you would have these in post every six feet so that you are getting that uh, support on each end of the basket. Uh, then there are also uh, I beams or H beams uh, that can be utilized basically, uh, you know, just like with the wooden end post and even the in internal support post. We don't supply the post, but we can work with you. Uh, you know, if you have a local supplier of posts, we can work with you to get the correct size basket so that it can fit for that application. So when you're installing a gabion fence, um, you know, there aren't really any complicated tools that are needed. Um, most everyone has all of these items on hand. Um, so that's you know one of the benefits. There's not any special items needed unless you are uh, wanting to utilize a, a custom mesh panel and have it assembled with hog rings. Uh, in that case, you would need some type of hog ring gun. Uh, we do sell those. Um, just kind of depends on the aesthetic and construction method that you're uh, looking to achieve on that. So your first step when installing the fence is to lay out the fence line. I, you know, of course, the easiest is to do straight lines, but you can, um, you know, achieve curves and other shapes with the gabion fences. Um, if depending on how sharp the curves are, uh, you can bend the baskets themselves, or uh, it might be useful to utilize smaller basket units and uh, that way you can kind of turn them uh, to get the curves. Uh, you want to make sure that you have a firm and level base that these baskets are going to sit on because they do have, uh, you know, rather heavy load with all the stone loaded in there. So you want to make sure on the front end that uh, you have a good compacted base. Uh, generally, people will excavate out uh, where the baskets will go, put in some filter fabric or um, 
some crusher run gravel. Uh, you can also pour a concrete footer, uh, although that's not necessarily required. Um, the key is just to have you know, a good solid support base so that uh, the gabions don't start eating into the ground and give you an unlevel uh, finish. Uh, after you have that base applied, you want to install either your support post uh, for internal support posts set in concrete, or uh, if you're going to be utilizing in post, uh, it'd be the same process. It just uh, where you line up those posts and how you line them up uh, would be determined by you know where those posts are going to be with your baskets. Uh, once you have the fence line set up and ready, uh, you're going to assemble the baskets. So our standard stock mesh baskets are going to be delivered partially assembled with spirals on a pallet. And they'll come with additional spirals and stiffener rods uh, needed to finish the assembly of the basket. So uh, you want to get those baskets assembled into the square. Uh, if you are using an internal support post, uh, it's helpful to take the lid off the basket. And that's just done by unscrewing the spiral uh, that's holding the lid is generally attached to uh, just that back seam. And then that way you can slide the gabions over the support post and begin filling. And then once you have them filled, that's when you can slide the lid over. Um, those support posts and then attach the lids uh, to the basket. Uh, when you are installing the stone, you want to do that in lifts so that you're uh, taking time to place any stone by hand that you need to. Uh, you can see the bottom right picture is a great example of uh, where they took time placing the stone. It's got a great flat finish on the front of it. Uh, there aren't any open voids uh, in the basket. So, um, you know, ends up giving you a really nice looking finished product. Uh, as you're going up, depending on the height of baskets uh, that you're installing, uh, you know, you'll want to utilize either an internal support wire or our preformed stiffeners to attach the face panel to the back panel, uh, depending on the thickness of the basket. This will give you additional support within the basket itself uh, on the face just to help prevent any possible bulging. Uh, the other item that you have to help prevent bulging is any baskets over three feet in length are going to have a center dividing panel within the basket. So a six foot basket is gonna have an end panel on each end and then it's going to have a center diaphragm panel that's the same size as the end panels uh, in the middle of that basket which that also makes a, a great spot for you to attach that panel to your internal support post if you have it set in the middle of the basket. Uh, just wiring it a couple times to that internal support post and then you have the stone that's being placed around that support post and it gives you great interlock with the stone and the support post and gives you, you know, a really stable uh, gabion fence. If you are going higher than just one basket height, uh, you do want to make sure that you have great fill in that bottom level of basket and then you will slide the lid on, attach it as I mentioned, and then at that point you can uh, slide your second layer of baskets on top of that initial layer and just begin the process again. Uh, you do want to uh, connect those top baskets to the bottom baskets and that can just be done with hall greens or some tie wire. I uh, just want to have several connection points um, as you go along with the baskets. Uh, the other option you can do is uh, if you're utilizing spirals to minimize the seams, you can join two baskets together and use a single spiral to go through both baskets so that you are closing the lid of the bottom basket and that's attaching to the base and the front panel of that top basket. Uh, and then another uh, thing you can use, especially if you're utilizing our three inch by three inch mesh, uh, just to ensure that you get good solid fill inside the basket, 
you can place larger stone on the face of the basket like you see with the uh, picture in the bottom right and then can utilize smaller stone um, inside the basket so that you're not able to see through that basket at all uh, and get a good solid fill on it. So some of the uh, fence accents that we offer, uh, we do sell recycled glass rocks. Uh, they come in uh, probably, I think it's 12 different colors. So uh, quite a variety of colors. You can utilize them, you know, mix in with the stone, have, you know, standalone panels uh, with glass rock. Um, they can be backlit with LED lighting so that you know, you're getting that glow. Uh, it's just a great way to kind of mix in some color with the Gabion wall. Uh, the fill rate on those is 90 pounds per cubic foot. Uh, we sell the glass rock loaded in bulk bags that are shipped on pallets. So uh, we can price that out for you based on, you know, where it's being shipped to. And then uh, we also offer a variety of green walls. Uh, we have uh, panel systems that have individual pockets in them that you can uh, place plants in. And then we also have a rack system where you can place an er erosion log uh, so that you can you know, easily swap in and out uh, different plant species, uh, as well as uh, we have a faux wall panel where it's you know, no watering needed, a uh, variety of green vegetation on there. All right, so that covers um, the basics on Gabion fences. Uh, we are available uh, by phone and email uh, to help out uh, whenever you do have a specific uh, question on your project. So um, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. Um, uh, that's we're definitely always willing to help any way we can. So, all right, um, that is all that I have on the Gabion fence. So uh, if you do have any questions, just reach out to us and we'd be happy to uh, go into more detail with you individually. All right, thank you for your time.